guys, it is Tori. Welcome to another video. Today I'll be teaching you how to make an origami flapping bird slash crane. You can change um, it at the last second. I'll show you how to do that in a sec. Okay. Also, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe. All your support is greatly appreciated. Also, for my plush videos, I've just figured out there is a way you can comment. Not on the video. If you go to my channel page, you can click discussions and you can write a comment saying um, a request for a video or, you know, whatever you guys want. Like any request for anything. Because I have no idea what you guys want, so I'm just kind of making what I think you'd like, like a truth or dare video. Because those are pretty funny, right? <laughs> or is it just me? I don't know. So that's why I want your guys' requests, because I don't know what you guys like. And I am only a child, but I want to make a really nice YouTube channel. And I want people to be able to watch my videos and laugh at them, because comedy is one of my favorite things. Alright, enough with the chit-chat. That's my fault. <laughs> but now we're going to get started with the origami queen. If you have origami paper, then this is what mine looks like. You can use printer paper too, though. Um, alright. You can. Use, I don't know why I have this random spelling list paper, but you can um fold it like this and cut this edge. But this crease is very bad. You have to try to make a really good crease. Anyway. Okay, so, so we're going to actually get started. You see this? You want to turn to the side with the color. You want to put it down. Maybe if I put this like this, you can actually see. There you go. Anyway, so you want to fold it in half like this. And if this doesn't work out for you guys, I am very sorry. This is my technique. Oh, great. My firm. My um, creases aren't the best, but try to get as close as you can. So you want to unfold that and then do the same exact thing, except on the other side. So you have a crease here, but now you're going to do this. You're on the same side, but just, it's a little hard to explain. Also, this is my first origami video, so don't yell at me in the comments. I'm sorry. So your paper's going to look like this now. You want to flip it over to the non-color side, and you want to fold it in half like this, like hot dog style. Then you want to do that and then turn it, and then do the same thing on this side. On that side of the paper. Alright, once you do that, you can unfold, by the way, after all these things. So you're going to look at this paper, and then what you're going to want to do, you're going to set it down. I'm going to set it down like this. I will do it camera way so you can see. Then you want to pull these two two papers from the side. And you want to push down. Then you want to get the top and you want to push down. Okay, so when you're finished with that, your paper should look like this. Should look like these three get a diamond-like thing. Alright, so you flip to one side. Doesn't really matter. Just fold the sides to the center, you see? I will demonstrate for you. You hold up. You, yeah, you take this side and you fold it. So your paper should look like this. Then you have come in here and make this fold. Same thing on the other side. Flip it over to the side you didn't fold yet. And then fold it like this. Fold it like this. I'm sorry, I am not perfect, I'm only a child, but I try to do these things as best as I can. So like I said, your diamond would originally be like this, but then you gotta fold these two things in. You might actually only think that this channel is for plushies and game and all that stuff. Well, I also like artwork. I will teach you how to draw things. Bear with me, I don't have the best camera, it's a tablet, um, iPad, whatever. Almost the same thing. Not the same thing, but almost, so... Anyway, so this thing, this little triangle, you want to want to fold it either way. You can fold it backwards, forwards, from whatever angle, it's fine. But you just got to either fold it down this way or down this way. So you want to keep that down. Or actually, no, you want to unfold. Then once you do that, you want to unfold this side. 
then pull this up so your shape would look like that then I will put it down so you want to have it like this your shape will probably look something like this weird huh tell me about it now put these sides and fold it like this then work your way up until you have a shape like this now origami isn't the easiest thing it took me a while to learn this um, and if you're especially my age, don't get frustrated. Um, if you're lower than my age, get a grown-up's help, because grown-ups might be able to help you. Like I said, this stuff is very, very tricky. So if you can't get it right away, that's all right. It took me a while to learn this. I've been doing this for almost a year. Not a year, though. I only learned it this year in school. Anyway, you're going to want to... Oh, yeah, I haven't went over this step. I'm sorry, guys. Shape's probably going to look like this. Well this if you had it last time but then you're gonna flip it over and you're gonna see this you want to pull these out and you want to pull this up so your shape's gonna look something like this like I said the last time you want to fold these oh you probably can't see I'm sorry guys so your shape will be like this you want to fold the, the front pieces of it you know like this there we go. Bear with me. I'm sorry I can't show you everything. My big fat hands. So you want to fold the front and then work your way up and then push down. Trust me, you will not rip the paper. The paper will not rip. If you don't have origami paper and you're using printer paper, then that's okay too. It'll still work. Um, so don't be alarmed. Also, if you did it correctly, you'd have these little legs at the bottom looking like. And then this would be like this. And you also see the little thing in the middle. So I don't know if you can start to tell how this will look like a crane. Anyway, you want to fold this in half. So you see what I did there? You're going to fold You see, you have the legs. Then you're going to fold it in half. Then it'll look like this. Oh my god, my creases are so off. Let me fix this for a second. I am so sorry. I My apologies, guys. Okay. Very go. What the, what is that? I don't know what that is on the head. But your shape's going to look something like this. Then you want to take these things. Oh, you can't see what I'm doing. You want to take these from the side. You want to put it up because these are going to be your wings. So take this one too. On the other side, you just want to take them up so you sit there a little bit. Now, you're going to want to pull over the head and fold Make really nice creases to your folds, because sometimes they don't, what do you usually stay if you're using paper? And you know the funny thing, when I'm eating dinner, my mom will be like, what are you doing? Because I will make origami out of my napkin or paper towels. <laughs> Alright, your shape's going to look something like this. So we had these up here, but then we put them down and folded it. So the crease made it stay. Then put the wings all the way up, then do this. There. You're going to have this sort of shape now. Very weird. <laughs> okay, so if it's, it doesn't matter what side. Origami can be picky with you, though. So sometimes you have to make this the head and this the tail, or this the head and this the tail. So let me just experiment for a second. Also, if you're going to make a head on one side, you're going to want to unfold it, make the paper look like that. You want to make a fold down like this. Then pull it out a little bit and push down on it. And then there. There's a little crane head. And what the heck? Why is that white there? <sighs> My apologies. I'm not the best person at origami, but you know, I can make a little measly crane. <laughs> I can make a bunch of other things too, though, and I'll definitely make videos on that for you guys. Uh, please don't rip. Please don't rip. Yeah, that's not the right side. <sighs> so like I said, origami is picky. Now you're going to want to have to redo the head on this side. Now it looks like it has two heads, but now we're going to put this back up. So this is the tail. And then we're going to pull this out. And we're going to do that. There we go. So if you want a crane, then don't pull the tail. Um, but if you want a flapping bird, so how you use a flapping bird? Put your two fingies here. Then gently pull the tail. And sometimes this happens to me where only one wing will flap. 
that happens to you, then just keep trying because, I mean, it's hard. When I make little origami swans, like, oh, and all you have to do is take a piece of origami paper, slit it, and just split it into fourths. But you have to, like, gently rip it. You can't really cut it because that'll just, it might be uneven. Unless you're a very even cutter. Chances of that are slim. Um, but, yeah, only one of, there we go. If you do it enough, both of the wings will start flapping, but this one only barely flaps. But that's okay, because you still got yourself a nice little crane or whatever you want it to be. Um, yeah, hope you enjoyed this video on how to make an origami crane. If you want to see more origami videos, make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel hit that notification button because i'm always coming out with new videos hope you enjoyed and have a great day guys bye